Academy for Social Change presents Observer Expectancy Effect. Let's say you're a researcher. You've developed a new energy drink that you claim will improve athletic performance, and you want to test whether or not it has its intended effect. You take a sample of people who have around the same level of athletic ability and randomly assign each person to either the experimental group where they receive the real energy drink product or the control group where they receive a drink that has none of the nutritional or chemical supplements that are in the real thing. Then, you put both groups through the same exercise test. As the creator of this drink, you hope that the experiment results will show that your product improves athletic performance. How do you think this personal bias will affect your experiment? Because of your expectation that the energy drink will work, you might give a thumbs up to the experimental group during their exercise tests, but shake your head disappointedly at the control group. Your actions can show each group your expectations of how well they should be doing, and the experimental group might respond by pushing themselves extra hard in their exercise tests, while the control group might get discouraged and put in less effort. Thus, because you believe in your product, you might subconsciously misinterpret data so that it backs up your claim about the energy drink improving athletic performance. You might also behave in a manner that makes the subjects conform to your expectations. In an experiment, the observer expectancy effect is when the researcher, the person experimenting, either subconsciously influences the subjects in the experiment or incorrectly interprets results to line up with the outcome that the researcher originally hoped to see. Outside of an experimental setting, the observer expectancy effect can take place whenever a person's preconceptions of a given situation impact his or her behavior towards that situation. An example of an experiment that was tainted by observer expectancy is the story of Clever Hans. Hans was a horse owned by Willem von Austin, a teacher who claimed that Hans had learned to do basic mathematics and could understand German. Austin would ask Hans questions in German like, if the eighth day of the month comes on a Tuesday, what is the date of the following Friday? And Hans would tap his hoof 11 times to signify that the date would be the 11th. Word spread through Germany about this super intelligent horse, and many psychologists, including Carl Stumpf and Oscar Fungst, went to Austin's home to investigate. Through a series of experiments, Funks determined that Hans could only answer questions correctly in the presence of an audience that knew the answers to the questions the horse was being asked. When the audience did not know, the horse also could not answer the questions correctly. Eventually, Funks and Stumpf realized that the horse did not truly understand math or German but instead had learned to recognize specific facial and bodily cues of people in the audience. At that point, Hans would stop tapping his hoof and appear to have solved a math problem when in reality, the horse just adapted his behavior to fit the expectations of the humans around him. The observer expectancy effect can explain some of the differences in how parents raise their sons versus their daughters. For example, parents are typically less emotionally available and give out stricter punishments to their sons as compared to their daughters. This behavior is due to the gender-biased expectation that boys require less emotional support and are capable of withstanding more harsh words or physical punishment. Observer expectancy also frequently comes up in the handling of crime. In ambiguous situations where the culprit of a crime cannot be identified, the public tends to accuse men of color because men are perceived as more aggressive and people of color are often stereotyped as criminals. These preconceived notions can lead to many wrongful convictions of men of color. Can you think of any situations where observer expectancy can have a positive impact on society? If so, explain the situation and how observer expectancy will positively impact the community.